Just take your time. <laughs> it was one day last month. Les came in late, and he was really drunk. But he told me he'd been kidnapped by some space aliens. <laughs> and then forced him to drink ten pints of beer and two bottles of whiskey. <laughs> I didn't really know whether to believe him or not. So what did you do then? Well, I rang Sunday Sport <laughs> and told them Les's story and they printed it. <laughs> then I knew. It had to be a load of bollocks. like a pig. You saying I eat like a pig? Sure, I'm saying you eat like a pig. You eat like a pig. You saying I eat like a pig? Sure. Shut your mouth. This is my house. You're my guest and you eat my food. Hey, come on. You eat like an animal. <laughs> I am an animal. Yeah, but you don't have to eat like one. Hey, shut up. We're trying to have a conversation in here. <laughs> come here. Come here. Come where? Come here. Okay, I'll come there. Punch me on the nose. Punch you on the nose? Yeah, punch me on the nose. Get out of here. I'm your brother. I ain't gonna punch you on the nose. Punch me on the nose. I ain't gonna punch you on the nose. Come here. Come where? Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Pop me on the schnoz. <laughs> Pop you on the what? The schnoz. Pop me on the schnoz. I ain't popping you on no schnoz. Then ping me on the skadoodie. <laughs> I ain't gonna pin you nowhere. What are you, faggot? No, I ain't What are you, faggot. meatball? Okay, so I'm a meatball. So what? You sleep with my wife. I didn't sleep with your wife. You sleep with my wife. I didn't sleep with your wife. You sleep with my wife. Because I'm out of town for a couple of days. <laughs> okay, I sleep with your wife. Okay. Okay, okay. That's good. Don't do this. What? Don't do that? Don't do that. What do this? I don't like it when you do that. Even more, I don't like it when you do this. What? When I when I do this? Yeah, I don't like it when you do that. Why do you do this and do that to me all the time, huh? We're Italian. I gotta do this. I gotta do that. I gotta do that. Hey, 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 come on. Hey, come on. Hey, let's see. Come on. Okay. He's like a pig. You said I ain't like a pig? Sure, he's like a pig. You said he's like a pig. Don't miss the padding, the needless chat. The inane dialogue and the piles of spaghetti in Martin Scorsese's Raging Bullshit. <laughs> Gathering dust in a video shop near you. of a show on the road. Yeah! <laughs> yeah, don't wait. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, I'm just feeling so hot. I mean, I've just got sexiness pouring out of every pore yeah, of my body. Yeah. yeah. Do you mind if uh, 
I'll just make a short announcement. It won't take very long. Okay. okay. Everybody, this is my best friend. Listen to him, please. The stage is yours. <laughs> uh, ladies and gentlemen, if you bear with me. Woo! <laughs> please. <laughs> Woo. Thank you. <laughs> I'd, uh, I'd just like to take this opportunity to say, well, to scotch, really, the, uh, the rumours. Oh, scotch the rumours, eh? <laughs> the uh, scurrilous rumours are presently circulating about, well, about my best friend Gareth here. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely not true. Thank you. Woo! Let's get the show on the road! Let's get <laughs> hey, Gareth! Oh, let's oh, give oh, it oh, plenty oh, of oh, 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 oh. What, what rumours? Huh? You said that there were... Rumours circulating about me. You know, the what rumours, the rumours, the rumours. No, I don't know what rumours. Look, I wouldn't have mentioned it if I knew you were going to get uptight about it. <laughs> Norman, I'm not getting uptight about it. Now, tell me <laughs> what rumours. I'm not telling you, Gareth, it'll spoil your performance in the show. There won't be any show. Look, 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 the rumours are totally false. They're, they're totally unfounded, all right? So let's get on with the show and go, woo! Uh, and yeah, give yeah, it yeah, 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 yeah. 10 o'clock Sunday. I know what rumours you're talking about. Oh. And you're right. They're ridiculous, completely laughable. Yeah. <laughs> I, told, I told you they were ridiculous. Now, let's get changed for the first sketch yeah. and give it plenty of... Whoops. Okay? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Thank you. I've never even met his wife. What was that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Ron, I think we're working to a two-CSE audience. <laughs> I like them French cars as it happens. <laughs> Sunday League soccer is my life, right? I mean, people really wind me up when they say it's all about beer swilling, big fat yobbos, because they're wrong. It's all about rigid self-discipline and personal fitness. It starts winding up, it keeps on winding up, and it ends up winding up. Right, wind up, right? A wind up? Yeah, you sure? Yeah. Wound up by a wind up. I am well wound up, is that? <laughs> oh, right, the uh, night for a big game. Well, uh, I look after myself, is that? You know, I think it's uh, important to relax. I like to put the game, you know, out of my mind and, uh, and get completely pissed. <laughs> I'm not averse to the odd uh, 15 pints of lager top. I'm still a bit of a Nigel Avers, though, you know. Uh, Bit of a charmer as it goes. <laughs> yeah, my, my mates reckon it's a bit of a gift I've got. My name's Sid. Did you drop them? <laughs> Fact is, I always pull up a Saturday night. You know, dressed like that there. <laughs> No, mate, no. Nah. I'll never drive home if I've had a drink. Not me. I always leave the car right where it is. Mind you, <laughs> living round here, you ain't got much option. <laughs> cool. You've got to get a good night's kit before the game. You know, set yourself up right and proper. <laughs> you know, uh, I, I look forward to Sunday mornings as it happens, you know, it's a bit of a laugh, isn't it, you know. I mean, they're a good bunch of lads, you know, and they're, they're mates. And as we say, like, you know, once your mate's a mate, he's a mate. Morning, wankers. <laughs> the warm-up is dead important, right? Uh, it gives me an opportunity to stress those muscles what don't get used during the week. <laughs> When I play football, right, I play to win, but I play fair. <laughs> Hard, but fair. Mind you, at times, I'm a cheating bastard. Tell you what, that bloody ref, he must be blind, mate. Yeah, he ain't noticed nothing all afternoon. Yeah, nothing. <laughs> Good goal, mate. <laughs> so I, I once had trials for Wimbledon, but they said I wasn't physical enough. <laughs> what? Come on, ref, I went for the ball, he's diving. That's it, lad, you're off. Yeah, we don't have a 
couple of beers after the lad's done good, you know. Have a bit of a laugh, let off steam. <laughs> yeah, so of course, sometimes, you know, we can't give it stick all day long, right? Like, nah, some of the lads have got to do the afternoon shift. <laughs> Thanks for the game, ref. That's all right, son. By the way, that was a fair attack. <laughs> Crap. <laughs> and, uh, what have you brought to show me? Oh, this is very interesting, yes. I, I think you'll find that the, uh, that this opens like this. Oh, oh, that's beautiful, look. Yes. Um, do you know what it is? Um, is it a clock? <laughs> no, it's not actually a clock. It is, in fact, a hamburger. Oh. Yes, and if I'm right, the, the top comes off like this, you see? Oh. And if I may, I'd just like to turn it over, because on the bottom we may find... Yes, you see, this thumbprint here leads me to believe that this is probably the work of uh, Millicent Warhol from the Jolly Cooker group of eateries, probably somewhere in Lincolnshire. Lincoln? Hmm. Um, how did you come by this? Well, uh, my son left it on the mantelpiece about three weeks ago, mm -hmm. which is why I thought it was a clock. <laughs> how much did your son pay for it? One new quid, old money. I see. Well, it, it's a very beautiful thing, I must say. It really is very beautiful, but I'm afraid, unfortunately, it's not worth very much oh. because there are hamburgers still in the shops for sale today, much older than this particular item. <laughs> Stop. Is it really worth the risk? <laughs> Use a long gun. It's better to be safe than to get your shirt sleeves wet. Thank you. Thank you, Frank Sinatra. Well, <laughs> and moving on. My next guest is an author who's recently published a biography on John Lennon called I'm the only one who really knew John, and in fact I knew him better than all the others who've written a book about him. And this book has caused a storm of controversy, including accusations that its contents are so blatantly inaccurate and false that it stands a good chance of being serialised in the Daily Mail. And, <laughs> and this author is Godfrey Bowman. Mr Bowman, good evening. Uh, uh, <laughs> good evening. Now, Mr. Bowman, if I could say, first of all, how do you answer your critics who say that you never, in fact, ever <laughs> really met John Lennon? <laughs> On the contrary. <laughs> I knew John very, very well, very, very well. In fact, uh, I knew him like a brother. Yes, well, could you explain to me why, throughout your book, you refer to him as John Lemon? <laughs> I beg your pardon? You call him John Lemon. His name is, in fact, John Lennon. Was it really? I mean, uh, no, no, it must have been a... Printer's error. I see. <laughs> May I quote from the book, please? Go ahead. Then John and three other lads formed the group that would conquer the world. Yes. Mr. Bowman, who exactly are the bottles? <laughs> <laughs> the bottles! The Fab Five! <laughs> Eleanor Ragbag! It's been a hard day last night. Hey, June! <laughs> <laughs> Great hits! They were called the Beatles, Mr. Bowman. The Beatles are bottles if you want to just nitpick over tiny inaccuracies. Yes, well, your book seems to have rather a lot of inaccuracies, doesn't it? Nonsense. Well, for a start, the Maharishi Yogi was an Indian guru, not an Afghanistan goalie. <laughs> the Cavern Club is, in fact, in Liverpool, not Western Supermare. And John Lennon was the rhythm guitarist, and I'm quite sure he never played the bagpipes in his life. <laughs> my readers aren't worried about superfluous detail. My, my readers are worried about truth. The truth, I see. Let me quote again. The demise of the bottles came about when John met and fell in love with a four-foot Japanese midget who had all the charm, personality and sex appeal of a similar size bag of washing. Yes. <laughs> but, Mr Bowman, there is one further inaccuracy in your book. 
John Lennon. Lennon. He, yes, John yes. Lennon actually <laughs> never joined the army and served in Germany, Mr. Bowman. He didn't? No. Oh, I must be confusing him with the subject of my latest biography. Oh, you've written another biography, have you? Yes, yes, I have. Elvis Preston. I knew him like a brother and more than anybody else. £49.95. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah, he's sitting in the air with this. Colin Smedley is a man who wears purple tank tops. <laughs> this was ahead of its time in terms of the narrow gauge year. Colin can talk for hours about train spotting. <laughs> if I roll my uh, trousers up, you'll see a remarkable thing. That Colin can touch his wrist with his thumb. <laughs> I prefer the laser printer myself. Colin Smedley is a man who knows about computers. Okay, and yet, a TV survey has revealed that Colin Smedley is still a lot more interesting than Martin Daniels. Thank you. Ask you where you got it from. Yes, um, I found it in my granddad's tall boy. <laughs> well, as you can see, it's it's beautifully tooled. <laughs> Was made in Taiwan by the Spanky Wanky Company. <laughs> and if I'm not mistaken, these normally screw. Yes. <laughs> and voila. You can see the original batteries inside it there. Lovely. This is worth its its weight in gold. But have you got it insured? No, no. Well, I strongly recommend that you do. But up until time as you do, I'd say that you'd better keep it in a very private place. <laughs> All this talk, right? about chemical spraying doing people arm, it's a load of old cobblers. I mean, I spray all my fields, don't I? I don't see what damage it's done. You ask my brother. Isn't that right, Ted? <laughs> Listen, it's difficult to laugh with your lips stitched together. <laughs> <laughs> Readings from my latest anthology, Nitrous Oxide, What a Gas, by Groovy Wordbender. My baby done left me and I feel blue, the colour of a Carl Perkins suede shoe. My baby done left me, I'm going insane. I'm even bluer than a varicose vein. <laughs> Man, I'm bluer than movies from Scandinavia. I'm bluer than seas in the Mediterranean. Mm. I'm bluer than limbs that surgeons cut off. I'm feeling so blue, I... I just blew off. <laughs> Sir, I'll speak to Brown in Bristol fashion, sir. Bobby, I'll, I'll do that for you, sir. There we are, sir. Dry the hands, sir. Certainly this way, sir. Just put your hands in there, sir. There we are, sir. Just stick them in there, sir. And rub them together, sir. There we are. Rub them together nicely, sir. Lovely, sir. All dry now, sir. There we are, sir. Lovely, sir. Have a good evening, sir. Oh, thank, thank you. you very much, sir. Thank you very much indeed, sir. Thank you, sir. <clears throat> oh, good evening, sir. Hello. How are you, sir? Lovely evening out, sir. Mm, it's fine, thank you. Are you a new member in the club, sir? Actually, I am, yes, uh, I didn't yes, think yes. I'd seen you before, sir. Yes. Oh, I can do that for you, sir. There we are, sir. Just do it there, sir. It's nice and lovely, sir. <laughs> lovely, sir. Oh, let me do that for you, sir. Yeah, it's a little comb, sir. There, that's lovely, sir, isn't it? Fine, thank There you. we are, sir. Oh, let me do that for you, sir. I can do that, sir. There we are. Dub a dub dub, sir. <laughs> Soon have them nice and bright. <laughs> lovely <laughs> pair of shoes, sir, if I might say so, sir. Yes. Lovely. See your face in them now, sir. Lovely. Uh, over here, sir. Yes, sir, certainly, sir. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I can do that for you, sir. I can do that. No, sir, please, I can do that for you, sir. Now, just hold the jacket, sir. Take a little step forward, sir. <laughs> it's a little step for me, sir. There you are, sir. That's, that's nice, isn't it, sir? Oh, let me get that for you, sir. There we are, sir. There we are. So, um, just open your legs a little more, sir. <laughs> just a little bit more, sir. There we are, sir. And out she pops. <laughs> there she goes, sir. 
dining in the restaurant tonight, sir? Uh, 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 Lovely food, sir. Marvellous chef, sir. Uh, All finished, sir? Just a little shake. <laughs> Another little shake, sir? <laughs> Good, sir? There we are, sir. Now, just stick the bottom out a little bit, sir. Just a little, and raise the right leg, and in she goes. There we are, sir. And there we are, sir. And there we go, sir. <laughs> Sir, thank you very much, sir. Lovely, sir. Always nice to meet a new member, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Say 